All right, guys, we are out here. And uh, last weekend, we went up to the Tennessee River. We did not have much success. We caught a few uh, teeners, but uh, not quite enough to make a real good video for you guys. Um, so we are back out on the Coosa where we actually catch fish. And we are at a new place. We are at a new lake on the Coosa. And we have, we've never been here before, have we, Dad? Nope, never been here. We got this big bridge right here that we crossed over and we got the dam right there. Uh, we are out on Lake Mitchell um, down here. More south than we normally fish um, um, around the Clinton area. So we've heard there's some good fish down here and really the only place we've had success with blue cats recently is up higher, closer to the dam. So um, the current just started at 8 a.m. and um, it's about probably what, 8.15 now? Yeah. And um, so we've got some skipjack, uh, frozen skipjack, but we're also seeing some shad pop out here. So we're gonna try to throw the cast net for some shad. And then I think we're gonna do some anchoring in a deep hole out here, and we're also gonna do a bunch of dragging today. So um, whenever we get on them, we will let y'all know. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show y'all kind of how we tie on a new rig. So we have a box right here, and it's got everything labeled that we need. So these are our good hooks, these Shattuck hooks. So usually I'll go ahead and get everything out that I need. Um, here's our new leader. Um, this is what we've been using for probably the last year now. It's a trilene big game, 50 pound uh, monofilament. It's been really good leader for us. In fact, when we get hung, it's so hard to dang break. <laughs> so. I'll get about Mm, this much and I'll show y'all how I tie my hook up. so I go through the top side and then I usually wrap it about mm, oh hold on I kind of messed that up through the top side and I normally wrap about one two three four five times and then you take the back side of your line of your leader and you go through the back side of the eyelet and then you pull tight and then you want to wet it with some spit just like that so it won't cut itself and um, it also helps it tighten and then you just pull it tight and that's what it looks like right there this is a great snell knot. knot, it's a snell knot, yep. And then you just tie it up here to the swivel in your main line. And right here to the swivel, I'll show you the hunter knot. <laughs> so I'll just go around and I'll just make a regular knot right there, okay? And I'll take this end and I'll go through the eyelet and make a regular knot around the eyelet. Then I'll go do a regular knot right here, except I will go through two times. And then I pull tight and then I wet it. And then I just pull tight again. And that thing ain't coming off. Make fun of me all you want. I have been using this Forever and ever. Uh -oh. You got one? Oh, I'm still recording. Is it a good one? I can't get it out of the dirt. There go. How's it feel? Looks pretty good. I was recording my knot and still had it going. Okay, I think I got it. You got yours recording? Yeah, I think I'm recording. Feels good.
Dang, Dad. <laughs> Holy cow. Good fish. Yeah, Dad. Really good fish. Well, we're starting out like the last video. Let me show you. We're right here by straight the dam. Down. Yeah, he's he's fighting straight down. Does it feel like a blue? The way he hit it was like a blue, wasn't like it? A, yeah, but he's not tumbling like a blue. Well, that just means he might be big. Flat it's a head. flathead. Wait, no, it's a big blue. Oh, it's a big blue. Oh, God. Oh, look how dark he is. That's a spawning blue. <laughs> oh, Dad, he's really big. Oh, oh my gosh, Dad, he's way bigger. Yeah. Look at him. Look at that mouth. Shoot ya. Wow, that's a big fish. I speculate I'm really bad at that. <laughs> wow, we've been out here. I, I'm over here tying my rig, showing him how to do the hunter knot, and you're over here slaying a big blue cat. Well, isn't that the way it always goes, my friend? No, that's how it's been going since we've been doing YouTube videos. <laughs> Y'all think this man just beats me all the time. Yep. You Beating sorry rascal. You got yours recording too? Uh -huh. Look at that, dad's got his on now too, so. Oh, and there is a picture of Hunter, he does yep. exist. <laughs> Look, that's, what, that's the bait we used right there, skipjack head. Let's that, see. That is crazy. Don't you think he's at least uh? He's, I mean, he's probably 35, don't you think? Probably. He's a big one. He's long, man. That mouth. Oh, my Whew. God. You can, ah, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> man, toad. make sure you get the hook out. Might want to have done that first. That is awesome, Dad. Get my skipjack head back too. Yeah. Cause we don't we don't have just too many of them. Well, I'm glad I, I brought some skipjack. I know. Ah, my freaking pliers out. Got him right there in the meat of the Okay. And I'll get the, uh, if you want to pick him up, I'll get the net out of the way. He, you can't tell me he's not a spawning fish, can you? Mm -mm. You know what happened? They're, work, they're focused on spawning. Yeah, get him out. Oh, dad, dad, you're in the net. First. Oh, yeah. Whew. Here, let me walk right here. Yeah, get a good hold of him. Nice. Nice. Now let me get you want me to get some pictures with your phone. All right, Dad. We got to get this dual fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good way to start, guys. Right here by these big rocks on the bank, where uh, that's right where that comes out of a 60 foot hole right there, or 66 foot hole. So, all right. Hopefully we have a. Yeah. Put it down. Hopefully we have a sustained bite today. All right, guys. We scoot it down a little bit. A little bit closer to this bridge we're in like 50 60 feet um, i'll show y'all what i'm using for my baits um, this is a this is a small skipjack um, that we had got up on the tennessee river a while back um, and i'm just using some pieces of these skipjack um, dad just got a real big blue to start the day he was using a big skipjack head um, so we're gonna put some of these baits. So we got two generators of current now from the dam. Throw that out in a little bit shallower water right there. The current's swirling right here, Dad. I don't know if you see this. Look, it's going back this way right here. That's weird. My baits aren't even extended out like yours are. Look at this, it's coming back to me.
Throw it out no, I'm gonna throw it out going this way. Huh? The current's coming back right here. Look, that's all flowing back that way. You see that? Uh -huh. Look at all that water, it's flowing back that way. Why not, right? Dad, 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 you got a fish, you got a fish. I don't know. I don't think so. You saw that though, right? Yeah. You mean to throw it back out for you? Watch out, I'm gonna throw this out. See, look, the current's right out there. I don't, mine are all slack line over here. I'd be better off suspending mine. Something. Are you? I am now. Got one little brim in there. All right, guys, we're back here in the back of this creek, and we are trying to get some shad. Not getting the biggest shad, I mean. Oh, but getting shad. But getting shad. Nonetheless. Maybe right there off them lily pads. So. Oh, I saw some in, I saw a bunch in there. Yeah. Oh, good gosh. <laughs> Pull that up and show them. There's some good ones in there. Yeah. Hey, just dump all of those straight into the cooler. Let me get the ice out. <sighs> Make sure they need native species in there. What's that mean? Catfish? <laughs> Bass or bluegill. bluegill. Uh -oh. I think we got enough fish with, huh? We don't have any big ones. Yeah. We have no big ones. I think the big ones are going to be out in the deeper water. I don't, I think they're going to be spawning in this grass right here. Yeah. Alright guys, we just um, got some shad down at a creek and we were actually dragging a flat right here. Um, so, right here it kind of splits off and there's an island that separates the deep side of the channel and the, and the shallow side of the channel. And uh, it's pretty cool, we're actually right next to like a airport landing strip. But So we're going to do some dragging and... Um, see what we can do we'll probably work up closer to the dam here in a little bit but i will tell you it is time for a drink we got that alani new breezeberry flavor that's about to hit the spot you sipping on anything dad uh, no not right now not right now Key to a good fishing trip, guys. Gotta have good drinks and good snacks. Unsponsored, by the way. <laughs> it's 
probably gonna mix with my coffee from <laughs> that was in here before I poured this, but you know what? A little coffee mixed with an energy drink never hurt nobody. You better uh, turn yours on. This is a good fish, Dad, I think. All right, guys, so this, this bait got hung and I was trying to get it unhung and now this bait, <laughs> now this rod went down. And it feels like a pretty dang good fish. I'm not gonna even lie to you. giving you a little bit of, I saw you for some reason you're oh yeah that's a nice one Hunter that's a very nice one can you see it Karen coming in it's a big big one all right got him yeah, well it's not as big as I thought it was it's because it is black he's He's real dark. He's probably mid-teens. Yep, yep. He's a male wow, that's Yeah, well, we had, we got that one I done mean, because of, uh, because of you. <laughs> well, all right. Well, listen, we're going to let you go so we can get this. All right, guys. We got a little, we got a little chaos going on. It's hung all the way back there. Should I just spot lock real quick? Yeah. So we can figure out all this? Yours is hung now too. And then your outside one just got hit by a fish. Whew. All right guys. Well, let me try to get this one taken care of. Do you see a cork back there? Yeah, I see it. I wonder, yeah, it's that one that got hung that the cork's off of. So this, my other rod was hung and I was trying to get it unhung when this fish hit. Oh, he's trying to make himself known. I think, did the hook? No, I got him stuck. It slipped and then I think the hook caught just him. He might be defending a uh, a bed right around here and all these humps, huh? With as dark as he is. That's what I caught him on, guys. Skip jack head. Yeah, that's a good one. Probably a teener. Probably about a... Mm, 14, 15. He's cool looking. That. Sorry, buddy. You may get the net. <laughs> did you uh, break mine? I think it did. Yeah. Is yours? I think yours is still hung too because I spot locked. Yeah, not a bad one. fight hard so we have a little bit of chaos right there but we're on the phone with my mom and sister and, and niece so uh, they're always good luck when we get them on the phone so we're going to put them back and we're going to go for some more big old island over here if you can see that how are we I think I might have this fish on here, Dad. 
You see this? Yeah. You think that's that flathead? That'd be crazy if I, uh... Look at this, I, I might have a fish on here. I don't know. So far, so good, how about yourself? Then all you do is check your license. Getting, getting checked, guys. <laughs> this has been the, the year of license check. Yes, it has, buddy. Did, did, did they check your safety equipment? They did. They did. Okay, I won't. Yeah. I, won't I won't do it again, man. That's okay. I got my. I got everything. I got, it. got it all. Yes, sir. I won't mess with y'all. Y'all seem like y'all are uh, very <laughs> compliant. So. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, have y'all caught anything? This uh, morning, I caught a thirty-five. Caught a thirty-five this morning, right. blue, but. Uh, Hadn't been, we caught some little ones, you know, but that's the only one mm -hmm. we were. I, I lost another one. I couldn't even get out of the rod holder, so I, he was a big one. Is that right? Mm-hmm. What, uh, what y'all using for bait? For Chad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, good deal. Well, good luck to y'all. All right. Thank you, sir. Partner. Well, guys, we just got pulled over. I kept y'all, kept recording during that. Did um, you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm still recording, but just uh, that game warden's watching. Shout out to him. He's awesome. That's the that's the coolest game warden we've ever yeah, had, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. I mean, of course, we have everything that we need. Uh, yeah. Safety equipment wise. Yeah. And but he so. he was sick. He was dope. So uh, I thought I had a fish, maybe, guys, but. He came up and I wasn't able to see how it panned out. So, yeah, we're the kings of getting pulled over by the game wardens, but alrighty. What is it, a blue cat? Yep. Well, heck, Dad, I mean, gosh, I didn't even know you had thrown it out. Huh. We're up here at the dam and um, Dad got him a tiny little blue cat. That looks like with that. Hit the water and that little catfish <laughs> was on there. So apparently, there's quite a few of them up here. Nice. We'll let you know if we get anything bigger. Dad just get. Dad just got a huge takedown. Uh -oh. Did he come off? He came off. Oh no. We're back closer to the original spot. That was a huge fish, wasn't it? Uh-huh, I can't get it out of the rock holder. That was a massive fish. <laughs> like, that was bigger than the one you caught yeah. this morning. Gosh, yeah. Was that on a new skipjack head? Yeah, it's a brand new skipjack head. I mean, this was a takedown and a half, guys. I think we're in the right spot. This is the only place there's shad right now, isn't it? Yep. All right, we might get on them right here for real, guys. So. Dang, that sucks. I was on the headpiece, wasn't it? You need to put one beside you over here. Guys, I just lost I just lost a huge fish, guys. Uh Look at that, he probably came off because I got in my other line. <sighs> you need to put one beside you over here. That's so frustrating. Dad, can you hold this? I lost him probably going through this. Look at that. I'd move this um, paddle tail and put this other rod over here. Oh, that's frustrating, guys. Yep. 
I didn't turn on my, I forgot to turn on my camera. I was trying to turn it on when I lost him. And then I was just a little demoralized. <laughs> I had it. Did you? How was your head? Is he still okay? Yeah, it was just a little chewed up, but... Mm. They're liking the headpieces. He took, a, he took a run that made me think that he was big. I don't know if you saw that, but he near about took the rod out of my hand. He ran at the boat. That's why I couldn't feel how big he was at first. All right, guys. Well, we gave him heck. We caught about a thousand, like, tiny fish um so anything we get before we reel all the lines in will be a complete bonus fish um we were a little bit low on bait i wasn't able to go um catch bluegill this week like i had the last couple weeks um so we kind of ran low on skipjack but we got a couple good fish today we got a million small fish, and uh, it was definitely a fun time just getting to experience a new um, a new lake. We'll definitely be back once uh, these blue cats get out of the spawn. It's a uh, it's a tough time right now in Alabama fishing with the catfish uh, going on bed, but you know we're always committed and we fish through it. And um, hey, we, we got two. oh yeah, we missed three. Forgot to tell y'all that. I mean, I, I think maybe you heard earlier, but um, there's a couple you didn't even see. I mean, we had three takedowns that we couldn't even get out of the rod holder. And, um, you know, just we had some where the hook went in on the bait and then one where I got in my other line and it pulled the hook. Just just some misfortunate stuff. We, we really could have had like four or five really big fish today, but, you know, it happens. And uh, just gotta keep on fishing. But uh, that's what we'll do, and we'll, uh, we appreciate you coming along with us today. See you guys on the next video. Say bye, Dad. Bye. Dad. Dad. <laughs>